Yo, how's it going guys? Alright, for this tutorial today, I will show you guys how to create insane 3D text. So normally you can do it inside the Cinema 4D, but I want to show you guys how to do it inside Blender because this is what I use a lot. So first we need to add a text, so we can do that by hitting Shift A, and we go all the way down to text. I was right here. So as you can see, it's not uh, 3D, it's just 2D. So we can just first, first of all, let's rotate it by just doing this. If we head over to the text section over here, we can align it to the center. Okay, we can surprise it up here. Maybe zoom out a bit in fact with the camera. Okay, so now once we got our text, we can um, change it. So here, if you hit tab on your keyboard, you can change it. So I'll just do name and then let's use the camera out a bit more. Okay, so this is our text. So as you see, it's 2D. So to add depth to it, you want to go down to geometry and extrude it a bit. I'll say maybe. I think 0 0.6 fine actually now maybe a little bit more uh, 0 0.1 0 0.1 looks good all right and then you want to go scroll down a little bit and see depth you want to move that up slightly just a little bit that's 0 0.02 looks good and then obviously we don't like this font so we can change the font by going down to font over here click this button here and you can see your fonts here but it's hard to like you know see which one's which so if you go to over here you can choose the display so you can display as thumbnails and now we can actually see each font and how it looks like um so we can find a font that looks good for 3d text i think maybe this one barlow let's open this one to see how it looks this looks pretty nice i think this one actually looks good for a 3d text maybe for a banner or something and then now what i want to do is i'm going to show you how to do like uh change the colors and rotate and everything like that so first before we do that we want to actually go back to the text settings and we want to go down to paragraph and then Spacing. We want to change the character spacing, just so they're like just slightly separate, just so we can like see in between each one of those. Okay, so now what you want to do, you can put this into um, viewport shading mode. So you can have a look at the texture. See, there's no textures on this. So let's go to our shade editor over here. And let's add a new texture for this. So for this one, I'm just going to do something simple. So let's just do a nice blue. Do something like that looks good. Um. And something cool that you can if you hit so right now it's, it's in text so once you're happy with it you this is you can't go back okay guys so once you're happy with it you want to right click and you want to convert to a mesh once you do this guys you can't go back so make sure you're happy with the text happy with the font so once it's a mesh now you see it's in it's like a mesh now we can't like change the change it from name to something else so what you want to do face select so if you click this one here you can select the top and if you hit l on your keyboard it should select everything around it doesn't select the front it just all the back it just selects everything around it then you want to hit hold shift click on this one you hit l again just keep doing it until you hold shift click on the face l hold shift click on the face l so once you have selected all of these around you want to go down to here slot add a new slot assign so now we have a different texture here so we can add a new material for that let's maybe do a nice uh we can keep it white it looks pretty cool maybe we can increase the metallic so you have nice like i don't know like in a shine actually chain don't turn on the roughness now we have this that looks pretty cool guys so guys this is the fun part so what you want to do you go to your text and hit tab okay then you want to click actually you know before you do that guys you want to go to here so we can um toggle x-ray so we can see through the letters hit tab on your keyboard to so go to edit mode and then just want to make sure you got box select tool and just drag down so make sure it selects everything once it's selected everything you right click and then we can go down to separate separate by selection so a quick way to do that you can just select it hit p on your keyboard and go separate you can separate by selection and then you keep doing that for other ones so you select that p on your keyboard selection and actually last we don't need to do we can leave that so then as you see they're all like the origins over here so just right click set origin to geometry so now if you move it around just like that so I into geometry okay now everything is assigned into the center so now these are all separate so what we can do is you can go to rotate here and we can just rotate these around so you can do something cool like this you can also just hold if you tap G on your keyboard you can just freely move them around so you can do something like this I think that looks pretty cool like that and if you do want to change the colors you can it changes for each one so if you, if you want to change the if I go just the first slot we can change the blue to like a red so it's still possible to change the colors even after you did it we can have a look in um rendered view but 
can see that's showing a reflection so you might want to just lower if I go back to object and we can just lower the uh, roughness on this just so we don't get too much of a reflection over there and then once you're happy with that you can just render that so if you go back to the camera view to have a look guys you just zoom in a bit more it doesn't matter that edges just zoom in change the focal length if you want just to have you know just change it out make it look a little bit different and then like that once you're happy with that just go to your render and you can just render that out also guys make sure to use code uc 4 to do the item shop if you do that you'll get a shout out like these guys in my next video all right guys once i'm ready you just want to save that so let's just quickly save this image just do it as a text render and then i'll show you guys a bit of what you can do in photoshop so let's close this down and we can open up photoshop all right guys just want to drag your text into photoshop and then there's a lot of stuff you can do with this so i'll show you a few few things you can do so first one i would do is add a texture to these see the magic one tool that might work better yep there we go hit hold shift click on that one on that one and that one so now we've got the face selected we'll make a new layer and we can just fill that in with the same color like that so i just switched it by pressing x and then press ctrl backspace to fill it up with the secondary color so now we just have that and then you can just go into Google and find a texture and let's just find texture let's go to images, you can find anything if you want let's do something like this one looks pretty nice, you copy that and you just want to paste it above and then clipping mask that and then instead of making it wider like that you can just duplicate it so just hold alt on your keyboard do that same duplicate again and then Select them by shift clicking top to bottom, control E to merge it. And we can change the blend mode to something like hard light and then just drop the opacity a bit. And there we go, look, we've got a nice texture on the text. And something else we can do is also we can hold control and click on the text and then it selects everything around it. So we can make a new layer and then click M on your keyboard or go to this tool, right click and we go to stroke. Let's, I'll do around maybe 4 pixels and change the colour to white and press center and ok and then if we actually change the background colour just hit control i to invert it we see we have like an outline double click on that and maybe we use the outer glow on this let's increase the opacity over here spread lower that a bit like that now we have glowing outlines you can also do something really cool so if I just duplicate a highlight just in case we do that later on if you go to filter uh, liquify we can actually um, move around some of these just to distort it a little just to make it look a bit cooler if you want so now if you just hit ok you see it's like this it's pretty cool but if we, if we don't want to go back to ctrl z and then try again another thing you can do is duplicate our render if you go to filter filter gallery there's so many different filters here so this one's called glowing edges we just turn glowing edges on and we can hit ok then what we're going to do is change the blend mode to something overlay so you can see it looks quite cool but sometimes it can mess up so we can try a different one outlines here or we can try another one so if we delete that duplicate it again a really cool one is um so we go back to filter gallery and the really cool one is i think it's in sketch yep we have uh no yes yeah, chrome this one looks really cool you can just mess around the things i think put the detail low and increase the smoothness and then it looks like it makes it more metallic so if we just put it on top of our texture change the blend mode to something like overlay and look at that guys like metallic kind of text and i think that's pretty cool so if you guys enjoyed the tutorial please drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe and also comment guys down below what story you want next and i thank you guys for watching and see you guys in another video Bye.